I'm Kate Rich. I am a certified postpartum and infant care doula, and I am here to show you another common breastfeeding hold. Um, so today I'm going to show you the cross cradle hold, which is um, a, a really great one for the brand new period when you have that brand new baby and that first, you know, that first time you latch, the first couple days, the first few weeks, um, while you really need to have a lot of ability to position yourself and also you need to um, be able to help the baby as much as possible and um, help position them and keep them in a good position. So um, this is one of the most common ones that we will teach uh, new moms initially. So in this position, um, you are going to have the baby in um, the arm uh, opposite the breast that you're going to use. So if I'm going to nurse with this breast, then my other arm here is going to be the one kind of holding and controlling the baby. Um, so we're going to take the baby and typically they're going to be, you know, right on your chest after delivery or when you're getting ready to nurse them. You have them in that arm and we're going to kind of turn them and position them uh, so that they are coming nipple to nose uh, to the breast on the opposite side of the arm that's holding them, okay? And um, so again, we get them nipple to nose just like any other uh, breastfeeding position. We want to make sure that they are able um, and encouraged to open their mouth nice and wide and also keep that airway open so that everything is as simple as possible for them. Um, you're also having the baby uh, turned in to your body nice and snug. You don't want them their body rolled away and their neck having to turn because that is, um, go try and take a sip of water right now. It's difficult to swallow if you've got your neck turned to the side. So we want the baby in a nice straight line, their whole body snug up against yours. Um, this hand, the hand that's uh, with the baby, we're not going to put it, your hand right on the on the back of their head, but you are going to hold them securely at the base of their neck so that you um, you do keep them nice and secure, but they still have some freedom of movement of their head to position. Um, as well, you're going to have this arm and hand going down their back, so your wrist typically is going to fall somewhere right between their shoulder blades. Um, and instead of flexing your wrist outward like this, you want to actually flex that wrist inward towards the baby's shoulder blades, and that helps, again, keep them pinned nice and secure so they don't roll away from you. They're nice and secure. Um, it also encourages them when they feel that positive pressure right between their shoulder blades, it's going to encourage them to flex, again, outward, opening up that airway, making it easier for them to swallow, and um, also easier to get that nice wide open mouth to have a nice deep latch. Um, so we've got the baby in position, and then this hand is free to help you know, position your breast. Do, um, we often tell parents to kind of hold their, um, their breast kind of like a sandwich in those first few nursing sessions um, as you're kind of getting used to latching and kind of getting, everybody's kind of getting used to things, holding it in a sandwich uh, shape and kind of compressing it back away from the nipple will help the nipple to kind of stand out more erect so that baby has something to grab hold of. Um, it makes it a little bit easier for everyone. Um, and this hand too could also sometimes we tell uh, new parents to express, if you know how to hand express, a little bit of milk to help uh, get a little colostrum on the nipple so that the baby um, has that, that they, um, is kind of a reward, an instant reward that they found the right spot. Um, so that is the cross cradle hold.